Welcome back to another Let's Talk. This is the series where I cover all sorts of topics from mental health to life lessons to fitness advice or just basically anything else that I find interesting and think that may be of value to you guys. For today's episode, we're going to talk a bit about baseball. I'm going to talk about different things that baseball has taught me about life. Number one, true focus lies somewhere between rage and serenity. That is an X-Men quote, if any of you guys are X-Men fans out there. Shout out to my Marvel fans, I'm a huge Marvel nerd. But I have a story that goes along with this one. So early on in my high school career, I remember I was slated to pitch against our big town rival. So I remember I was so amped up for that game, I was really trying to prepare, I made sure I got a lot of rest. And then when that day came, I remember getting on the bus ride and blasting DMX. I was just so amped up, almost like a football player or a boxer, just ready to go. When it became game time, I was throwing the ball super hard, but I couldn't locate it anywhere. And I was finding it really difficult to focus, and I wasn't really able to even control my emotions within that situation. I actually ended up having a good hitting day that day but I was not really able to be successful when it came to pitching. Now, when I was older, so a few seasons later, I was going to pitch against another town rival. Now, word got out that I was going to pitch, so people on that team started reaching out to me and posting on social media to try to kind of rattle me up and get in my head and talk smack, which is totally fair, no knocking that. This time, I had learned from my previous lesson. So, I went into this game just focused, trusting my hard work, listening to the kind of music and the things that have just gotten me to the point that I was at. I was focusing on deep breathing. I focused on just executing my warm up properly and I was focusing on being in the moment. And the results were completely different at that point. I was much more successful. I still had that rage and a little bit of anger from all this Mac talking, but I didn't let that consume me. And instead I used some of it to fuel me, but I also allowed it to not take over and focused on being in the moment and being calm. Next lesson I learned from baseball. So I remember when I was in Little League, we, most towns take a part of an all-star tournament. And for those of you who have seen the Little League World Series, it starts with all-stars at the town level. I remember we were once again going up against the town rival and I got the start and I was super excited. One of the first times I've really ever gotten the chance to pitch against a town rival. First batter comes up, I didn't know him at the time, but now I remember it's my good friend, Jesse White, shout out Jesse. And I remember I think first or second pitch of the game, he hit a ball so far over the fence and started the game with a home run. And As a pitcher, that was so defeating because it made me feel like, oh my gosh, what kind of game am I going to have in store if this is how it started? But I remember kind of looking around and even kind of seeing some slight panic, you know, amongst my teammates, understandably so. And I remember thinking, like, I have a decision. I can either just give up and ride out this chaos or I can try to fight it. And I can try my best, just let that go and trust my pitching. And I actually ended up not giving up any more runs after that game, and I pitched a great game after that. But I feel like for a lot of people, it would have been so easy to just give in to that temptation to get frustrated and give up instead of doing that more difficult thing of taking a breath and moving on. Had I given up in that situation and just kind of wanted to get taken out or just not even tried, I would have never even known how good I could have pitched. The third lesson I want to talk about that baseball taught me. So... The way my career ended with baseball was actually pretty unfortunate, and it was not ideal. Um, Our team ended up losing our last two games. We lost the playoff tournament when we were heavy favorites. We lost our tournament right away that we entered in, and it was kind of just a whole messy situation. But that's okay. A huge lesson that that taught me is the ending doesn't define your journey. The ending is just quite simply that. It's the ending. It's like if any of you guys have read a book out there or or watched a TV show or watched a movie and you really liked the show or the movie, but then the ending wasn't very good, that's okay. That doesn't mean you have to dislike the whole movie. That's just one aspect of it. 
Same thing applies with the journey. Don't let your ending or your, even your start define your journey. The journey is the journey. And baseball has taught me so many things. I met so many great people along the way. Even that season was an amazing journey. So that's something I've tried to carry over into all aspects of my life, is even if something ends bad, doesn't mean you have to look back on it poorly. There's definitely good aspects of that. And that's definitely where gratitude comes in. Number four, everything is an art. So most things seem simple, but in reality, there are so many layers to it, almost like an onion, where some people will peel a layer or two and say to themselves, wow, I peeled the onion, where other people will spend years and years peeling and peeling and peeling and still just chip away at progress. Pitching looks like a guy or a girl is standing on the mound and throwing it to the catcher. When in reality, it is so much more than that. You, have, you are responsible for all sorts of shifts, coordinations with the infielders and the coaches, with your catcher, managing base runners, reading hitters, and you have responsibilities when balls get hit certain ways or bunts happen. Same thing applies to YouTube. It seems really simple to just post videos, but there's a lot that goes into it. So that's a huge lesson that pitching definitely taught me is there's so much that goes into it. Next lesson that baseball taught me is Baseball and life is a lot like weather patterns. How there's going to be seasons that are really nice, there's going to be seasons that aren't very nice. There's going to be seasons that have some really good days and some seasons that have really bad days. That is just how life goes. And if you expect perfection all the time, if you expect sunny days all the time, if you expect warm weather all the time, you're just cheating yourself because that's quite simply not going to happen. There will be bad days, there will be bad months, there could even be bad years. But pushing through that is what life's all about. Don't dwell on the bad days, learn to expect it, and let them pass. Another lesson that baseball taught me it was that you should approach things with class. Leave everywhere you enter cleaner than you found it. Never show off, respect the game, hustle on and off the field. It taught me that when you are wearing a jersey and when you're part of a team, you're representing something greater than the individual. And that is something that I have tried to carry over to my professional career, where I always try to represent things well. And then along with that, it really taught me how to work well with teammates, how we're all working towards the same thing. So I'm not going to be jealous of my pitcher or my team that's doing good. I want him to do good. We can all do good together. So that's something I also try to carry over in business, not being too competitive. Second to last lesson I'm going to talk about. I absolutely love this one. Your skill as a person is what can get you through athletic situations sometimes. That was something that I read when I was maybe in eighth grade about pitching and it changed my life. How when you are in a difficult situation, maybe base is loaded, no outs, you're stressed out. Don't just rely on your physical ability to get you through that. Remember that there have been really difficult life circumstances that you've probably gotten through or you doubted yourself. So don't just rely on your physical ability, rely on your character as a person. Remember who you are. And last but not least, baseball is a game. And honestly, so is life. We gotta have fun with it and you never know when your last time playing is. Treat every day like it's your last day. Treat every game like it's your last game. Obviously, we all have goals and we want to win, but at the end of the day, we never know when our time is going to come. So we might as well try to enjoy it while we're here. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of your day.